So this is a quick video to show you how to install actual system wide. Um, in the last video I showed you how to install it just for a single user. So you can see here if I go boink and you can see that is working whereas if I go here oops a daisy um, you can see it's not working. If you don't know what actual is I suggest going and clicking there. I'll put a little link there. Um, let's get into it. Let's get rid of the current install of actual that is sitting there. Um, manage actual is a really useful utility. It does all sorts of cool stuff. Um, now you'll notice here just near the bottom we have um, uninstall actual. So we're going to grab that and we're going to put that there. Just before we do though I'm going to show you what this is actually going to do. Um, so actual is installed in a hidden directory um, in your home directory when you install it as a user. Um, so if we go here and we we'll have a look at everything that's in here um, and we'll see here this line that's where actual is sitting. So if we go and have a look at that and we've got a whole heap of stuff there. Perhaps I should do a video in depth about what all these directories are so I might do that. Um, the thing which is most interesting for you is if you uh, have been using this for a while and you decide right I don't want this anymore understand that your data will be deleted in the process so if you want to make sure that this doesn't get lost it's well worth backing up the entire actual directory because then um, all of your profile setup and everything will still be available if you decide you want to go back to that uh, however the essential things are data and config um, so if you have a look um, have we got some data? We've got a little bit of data there because I was uh, demonstrating done it. Um, and config will have a little bit of stuff in there as well. Um, those are the things that you probably want to back up. Okay, so that's fine. So we've got that out of the way. Uh, and those actually, that's a really good point as well. On a day-to-day -day basis, um, when you're storing things like done it, for example, that is something when the when the data is valuable to you you should be backing it up and those are the two directories to go about it that's enough on backing up let's go and do stuff so we want to get rid of um, we want to get rid of the current install of actual let's do that here it's just wa um, warning you and you notice it tells you about control C which you can press to get rid of it and you notice here it has now gotten rid of it and it has told you what it has done so it, all of the different things that it has removed um, so you can see there there's lots and lots of stuff um, in the dot actual directory. Um, the other thing which you'll notice is gone, uh, there's the uh, bin directory in my home directory. So that must be up near the top. If I put it in there, yep, there we go. So you can see I've got these two files which are sitting in there, actual and manage actual. That's good, I didn't want it to make a liar out of me. In this process it will go and remove all the installed uh, applications that are actual applications as well. Cool, so we no longer have an actual, so let's go and get the uh, one that we want to install. So let's quickly do that over here. Um, Chrome, and we want to go, whoops, why did that not work? GitHub.com, and we want actual. Okay, and if we come down here, Notice this is the command that we ran last time, um, except we're going to modify it this time. Uh, what we're going to do is put in sudo in there, and uh, this is now going to change the defaults. Now the funny thing about this is I haven't actually, I haven't actually tested this, so I'm actually testing it in the video. Uh, and one of the first rules of doing a presentation is that you test everything before you do the presentation. So this could be fun. I might scrap the video. Okay, I can see why that has problems. Okay, there we go. No, it's accepting a password anyway. So let's do that. Good, that all looked good. So if I type an actual now, I understand. Okay, if we do it here first, good, we have a working installation. I'm going to start up a new terminal, and I wonder if it's going to go there. 
there we go okay so it was just my old terminal which wasn't working because I was still expecting the user install so that that's something to be aware of so now if I go over to here and we're going to go um, user add minus m blah and now we go insert blah okay and we'll just kind of bash this so we can see it um, and now actual is available there let's come out and um, we're going to uninstall actual it's just uh, what I haven't done yet is sort out the permissions um, for making this work nicely. It's not a big job, but I just need to actually do it. I want to do it with proper thought. Um, so right now, it's actually easier to either do everything in root or do everything not in root. Um, so right now, I'm going to do everything not in root. We are going to uninstall actual. I think I've told you everything I intended to tell you for this. I think uh, that will be uh, enough for this video then. Uh, since I've sort of been experimenting as I've been going, everything has um, gone incredibly smoothly, which is worrying. Please ask any questions uh, in the comments below, and uh, I will answer them as best as I can.